Today, everywhere we go, we are surrounded by plastic. We drink from it, eat from it, wear it, and use it in almost every part of our daily lives. This miraculous invention and its evolution have created a new era of cheap, convenient, and disposable products that have transformed the way we live. And it's hard to imagine what we would do without them. Plastics is too firmly embedded in modern life. But plastic is unlike any other substance on Earth for one very specific reason. It never goes away. Because plastic is such a perfect creation, it's virtually indestructible, which means that almost every molecule of plastic ever created is still somewhere on this planet. So if it never deteriorates, where does it go? Have you heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? No, I haven't. No, no, no. no. Uh, the Great Pacific Garbage, what? Right now we are in a private airport in Honolulu and we are about to get on board and fly four hours on a private charter flight to Midway Atoll right here, which is literally in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, a midway point from the west coast of the US and the east coast of Japan. Only one government plane flies out there every couple of weeks, carrying supplies along with researchers and maintenance workers. I feel like I'm in a dark sauna. No cars are allowed here, so transportation is by foot or golf cart. As we drove to our accommodations, I realized right away that getting around this place is harder than it seems. There are birds everywhere. We're trying to dodge them in the dark. Located at the top of Papahanao Makuakea Marine Monument, it is home to a vast array of wildlife. More than two million albatross nest here for part of the year. That's about 70% of all the lace and albatross in the world. There's no one in sight except for me and you and the albatross and a whole lot of plastic. In this small, remote place with very few people, tens of thousands of pounds of garbage wash up on our beaches every year. Clean it up, so this will be just the accumulation in four months' time. What is this? It's like a melted piece of plastic. It looks like plastic spaghetti. is a computer monitor doing floating in the ocean in the middle of the Pacific. Check it out, it's got Korean writing on it. And mixed into all of this stuff is bird feathers and bird bones. We've seen debris that comes from North America, from Asia, from lighters to bottle caps to uh, propane tanks to truck tires. I can't do it. That garbage is coming from the big population centers of the world, and it is definitely collecting here in the middle of the Pacific. The biggest landfill in the world, it turns out, is our ocean. We just are starting to realize that. These ecosystems are very connected. If the oceans are in trouble, we humans are in trouble. We don't realize how much we're threatening our own existence. If there's some way to bring this issue to someone sitting watching their TV, somehow we just have to make these issues uh, personal. My name is Angela Sun, and this is my journey to find out what the stuff we throw away is doing to our oceans and what it's doing to us.